All right, man, it's Jeff Okuda. Um, career in Detroit in jeopardy. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. And you know, Lions gonna have a decision to make on his fifth year option. Um, you know, I think he did good enough to, to stay. I think another year going in the right direction, I think you start talking extension. Um, but you got Detroit Lions talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Um, Y'all like what I seen from him. People said at the end of the year, he tapered off. One, he got a head injury. Two, this is the first time he played double digit football games since college. So y'all gotta understand that's an adjustment, you know? And I think he looked good enough out there this year, especially with some questionable pass rushing. What people don't understand is the back end and front end work together. They go hand in hand. You can have, look here, you can have a, a, a average to bad back end and and still be Super Bowl caliber. The Eagles, and win a Super Bowl. The Eagles showed you that. But it ain't too many front ends that's bad to average that's in the Super Bowl, even with great back ends. So, um, the front end is, is usually the catalyst. You know, you need that pass rush. You need to stop the run. You need to be physical. Remember, when the Eagles won the Super Bowl, all they DBs that got hurt. But they were so stout up front and stopping the run and getting after the passer, you you would be great. Everybody got this uh, imagination like it's Madden where you gotta have these these shut down corners on both sides of the field, and it it, it helps. Most definitely, it, it 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 definitely helps. It definitely helps. But at the end of the day, um, you know, if that front end ain't going in the right direction. You in trouble, regardless how good your back end is. You can get away with a with questionable back end, a little bit question, if you got a really good front end. So that front seven will have their issues this year. But when they got healthy, you know, they pulled their weight. And they will get healthier next year. And probably add some additions up front. So I think Jeff Okuda is a good number two corner. And I think you might have a good number one or one A, I mean one A, one B situation with him, Amani Rarie. The back injury, I think the money. Um, I think he won his money. I think he paid a little bit, you know. But at the end of the day, you probably move on from him. And like I said, I think you need a good veteran to help Okuda and Jerry Jacobs and Chase Lucas and those guys in, in the cornerback room. You need a really good veteran in there. That's the true number one, a Brad Bear, Brad, uh, Brad Berry, somebody like that to come in and stabilize it. So. Uh, you know, I think drafting another corner in the first round, like, come on now, it's time to become the equivalent of taking a tight end, damn near. So I, I don't, I don't think you have to do it. But if the draft says that, I say that. But, but if you don't, if you're not sure on Jeff Okuda, then I think you do open the door to draft the number one corner this year in the first round. So, which I gotta understand, y'all want instant success. And a cornerback, it takes him a while in this league. It's different. On college, you could be a lot more physical. With the with the receivers in the NFL, it's a different game. So you got to make sure you got a corner. You know, you got to get them some time. So y'all coming in looking for them to make an instant impact. That's not one of them positions like running back or somebody like that that can hit the ground running or a receiver. So that's what y'all got to remember too. That it's not one of those. But I think Jeff Okuda showed he can tackle, he can cover, he can run out there. Then he'll be a year removed from. Excuse my neck hurt. He'll be a year removed from from the Achilles injury, so he should get. It should be nothing, but he should get better. I think you got a really good number two corner, and next year I think gonna be a big year with him for him with a healthy front seven. You know, with Kirby Joseph, I heard Tracy Walker already running. You know, those lighter guys survive off the Achilles injuries. Uh, they come back and recover a lot better. So, at, at the end of the day, I think you need a really good veteran number one guy. I mean, you got Greedy Williams out there. I'm not sure how he, how he doing in the league, whatever like that. But he another long, 24, 25, 26-year-old corner that's long. That's the kind of direction they need to go in. But with the front seven, they can put together. And so funny, people gonna, ain't going to expect a lot out of the Lions next year. You know, as they should. And if you want instant success next year, 
Uh, and it's a tough schedule. I'm sound like beating a dead horse. I'm it's sound like I'm beating a dead horse dead. Lamar Jackson says Cobb is six. It's no really great quarterback in the NFC left, especially if Aaron walk away. Tom Brady washed up. You ain't worried about him. If Aaron walk away, it's Jalen Hurts and everybody else. So I think going to get a veteran cornerback, um, going to get a guy like Lamar to really take the bull by the horns in the NFC is what you got to do. But I think Jeff Okuda might go and be a really good number two guy. I think he'd be really good number two. You know, you have good, good you got two good number two cornerbacks. That's that's great and affordable <laughs> if you look at it, and it's affordable. So, but yeah, you gotta have guys who cover this league. I think Makuta can cover. Now, the question is, do they want to continue with the long, rangy cornerbacks? Or they want to get one of them, 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 them twitchy guys. But the NFL is going towards them long, strong, 6'2", 6'1", corners. And Seattle, Seattle kind of started to popularize that with Brandon Browner, Richard Sherman, and those guys. So, you know, Reed Williams might be that guy. Or they want to go with somebody that's, you know, about 5'10", 5'11", that's real fast and shifty and can run. So that it it'd be interesting on in what they're looking for because you got a big long corner that can be physical with the bigger receivers in the league and Jeff Okuda. You know what I'm saying? Now do you want a Daryl Green twitchy type of guy that can read and react and be fast and you know go into the slot and do some things? So it'd be interesting. But I think yeah, Jeff Okuda earned a fifth year option this year. Now if he didn't stay healthy this year and had some more injuries and look bad out there, then I'd be concerned. But, you know, his mindset, it remained a strong, especially how us fans was getting on Jeff Okuda. And his, you know, his, his belief, that that's what the Lions is about, grit, resilient, being resilient. And he was resilient because he could have easily went down a dark path of, you know, what Eric, Eric, Eric Ebron went down and started fighting with fans and going back and forth and, you know, he didn't get caught up in that. He believed in the process. He believed in his abilities. And that's one thing, being a corner, is confidence. And Jeff Okuda confident. I don't think, you know, maybe to himself he started to doubt his talents and all that type of stuff. But I, I think I think he believed. I, I think he I think he I think he believed. I think he believed. And you know, with him still believing and writing the ship and and having self belief and all that stuff through all this, man, that's what that's what be that's what being a Detroiter is all about. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Being resilient, gritty, grimy, tough, blue collar, hard working, and that's what, and that's what Jeff that's what Jeff Okuda rep, rep, represents. And that's what you want as a, a as a lion. That's what you want as a DB. He has the mental fortitude, bro. A lot of it. A lot of it. So credit credit to him. Credit to him. But yeah, no doubt in my mind. I think he earned a fifth year, and he could be earning the big contract. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see what Jerry Jacobs get you coming off the ACL. Uh, I know they moved Bobby Price and Melifano in the corner. I don't think you can rule out them moving back the corner. Uh, Chase Luke, but I think they need a really, I think they really need a vet to come in and solidify that cornerback room. That's exactly what they need. Dream scenario, Bradbury. You want to pay up, though. Uh, you know, cheaper option, Greedy Williams, and then you might have some teams that's that's willing to, that might be willing to, like Tampa Bay, they might be willing to sell. Especially if Brady don't come back. He already said he ain't coming back. So, yeah, you might get into situations where you might, you know, get some teams that's looking to rebuild and they might start selling. So, don't forget that. So, yeah, but if you don't sure, if you ain't sure about Jeff Okuda, then that open the door to draft the corner to eventually replace him. So, you keep him as a placeholder. And he potentially, you know, get that guy up to speed with Christian Gonzalez, Jerry Porter, whoever it is. You get that guy up to speed, and then you get rid of Jeff Okuda. Maybe you still exercise the fifth-year option and try to trade him and get something for him. 
But if you're looking to move on from Jeff Okuda, then you probably are looking to draft a cornerback early in the uh early in the 2023 draft, and I would understand that. But you know, getting another two young corners together, you know, and waiting on him, and y'all want instant success, that ain't it. But in that case, I understand it. But hey, uh, that's my opinion on it. But yeah, I'm, I think Jeff Okuda showed enough and did enough. I think the head injury. Uh, kind of slowed him down, and then Achilles, you start going outside in the cold a little bit later. I think next year, uh, you know, he'll be trending even more in the right direction if you remain healthy. But hey, check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live and drop video financially. You want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313 PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor Cash App, Venmo PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.